Hello there, this is Ben Farner and here's more of the Hind game. I'm going to see about doing the training mission again now that I played a fair bit more the first training mission again. Now that I've played on and have more of a idea of the controls anyway. Comrade, so use yeah, this training go, mission go. to familiarize yourself with the Hind's impressive handling characteristics. Yep, let's just go. Flight control. Let's go. Okay. So, Q of course, I might, I might. Comrade, hind leader is clear to take off. Okay, gonna head toward the bearing, which is, oh, we're already headed toward it, okay. Probably don't need to be at too high a velocity, that would just likely increase fuel consumption. I don't know, but we're only 43 meters off the deck and going at, uh, say, 157 kph or knots or whatever it would be, but units on the uh, left of the heads up display or whatever that's called. It's a screen at least, it's not a heads up display per se. But we're going to that waypoint. Maybe we're a little bit off, but not too much. Okay, and we're sticking to closer to the ground, so hopefully that'll be a more interesting view. And there's little vehicles that we're passing by. Maybe I should increase the height just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm still angling forward at... Yeah. 74 meters off the ground. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, looks like we have a change in waypoint already. Sorry, this is a little difficult to do with an arrow key. Okay. Well, to that one, whichever one that is. Are we going to the right one? Doesn't quite look like it yet, but uh, yep, it is. Okay, we're going to which I think that's C. I wish they used a better font. It's difficult to read which ones are which. I mean, it's in English or Roman letters, but it's still. I mean, I almost wish they used Cyrillic. It might be easier to see in this font. Uh, probably not. Probably just as difficult. Ah, uh, whatever though. We can still sort of guess what things are. Just have to follow a little arrow above the uh, upper, you know, where that 50 is. There's a little chevron in addition to the um, marker there, the circle, the circle that we're passing over as a. Now, right, and then we're going to be turning left to about 20 degrees or so, right? Yep, there that goes, and now we're turning, 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 passing by these buildings. And everyone's waving, I'm sure, right? Like, look, it's a helicopter of doom. Let's say hello! Okay. This would be more impressive with modern day graphics, but yeah, it's still interesting. So now we're heading toward the target practice range that we're allowed to use the um, stuff at. Come on. I think I'll at least get a better score for, for you know, like keeping onto the path thing than I did the last time. Uh, there's those little ships pass that uh, we're passing by. There was a little book called uh, What the Road Passes By that was kind of inter interesting. It, although it's kind of just being optimistic because for the most part what you pass by on the road is a whole bunch of trash everyone's dumped out of their pickup trucks. Which isn't quite as lovely as flowers and stuff. There are flowers in the right season but 
For the most part, it's beer cans and cigarette butts and other garbage. Uh, whatever though. Yay. Anyway. Oh, we have a minute left to go. That is not so grand. Is that the minute that we have? Or it, well, there's a countdown timer at least. Says we're going 340 knots in that direction though, so hopefully we make it in time. I don't know. T. T62 tank. Okay, is that one we're supposed to take out? T62 tank. Press E. WSO active. U23 AAA T62 tank. Well, I don't know how to activate that stuff. Anyway, we're almost to this. Will it let us fire once we're here exactly, or will we just get another thing? BMP2 APC. Suppose. All broken. Oh well. Onward, back. Lock broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock broken. Lock broken. WSO off. Well, the E key doesn't work. Three. What does three do? That doesn't seem to do what I was hoping. Increase height a little bit. 85, my birth year, whoop de doo. And we're on the heading again over to whatever the next waypoint is of insanity. <sighs> Apparently, I can't figure out how to activate the stuff that makes things go crispy on this yet. So, I don't know what's wrong. But, yeah well. Here we go, here we go again. And let's increase height a little bit. Maybe to where the... There's more of a view or something. Yeah, there's not really... Yeah well. So that negative on the uh, uh, vertical zero, but uh, maximum to the right side thing is the angle that you're angling toward, like down angle, something like that. See where it says negative four? I think that's off the horizon, something like that. And at negative 18 is the lowest it gets. If we press the up arrow, make that positive, we decrease forward velocity. Okay, ah, so it's not a countdown timer in terms of where we, what we need to be. It's a countdown timer until the waypoint. Okay, we can increase the timer by just slowing down. Like if I do this. Yep, bump. Now a minute. Hmm. Doesn't really seem to improve it that way, but come on, just a little bit closer on the chevron there. There's that. Okay. Thinks I couldn't figure out how to use the the target range, but it's just another thing I need to learn. At least for playing this game, I mean, it's not a need to learn. It's just a cool to learn type thing. 
There's always so many things that you do need to learn in life, and most of them become irrelevant at some point or another. Whether by other things becoming necessary, or just... Obsolescence, generally. Like, oh, you learned how to repair systems with vacuum tubes. Congratulations. Now they're no longer necessary. You could probably still work with some electronics generally, though, but... Oh, well. And electronic tubes do have, like, high fidelity for audio. And can handle more power than other things, so... Yay. But it all depends what's being used. And why, and all those things. Whatever though, we're almost back to the base of Doom. 42 seconds, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, yada yada. Almost to there. Actually following the waypoint. And not trying to land on the runway with the airplanes taking off and landing. That was brilliant of me, right? 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Comrade, hind leader is clear to land. Let's see, Z for turning. Make sure we're not going to land on someone else. That would be annoying. Let's land over here a little bit. Slow down. That's good. Yay. Okay, there's that. Let's see how bet well hopefully better I did. Yeah, not very perfect, but slightly better at least. Yay. So I don't know. Save? What does that do? 3D. Huh. I don't know what all that is. Anyway, I'll well, take care, everyone. Yeah, sure, log that mission. There you go. Alrighty. Try not to go crazy and beware the space hamsters of doom, especially if they get a hind. Wow.